What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going over class by class in our series and just talking about the changes that are coming to each class individually and just kind of the thoughts on what some possibilities for builds are gonna be, changes to certain ones where they're gonna be stronger, weaker, etc., and just see kind of what's gonna happen to each of these classes, at least on the surface and just kind of open up our minds for some theory crafting. So today we are talking about the Druid, which is my main class, which is kind of just slowly shifting away and I'm becoming a Necromane somehow. I don't even know how this is happening, but we're starting Necromancer at the season. Um, I was going to start Druid, but I think the huge changes in Necromancer are going to be insane, but we'll get to that in another video. Now, Druid. Blizzard had stated in the previous dev stream that Druid as well as Rogue have uh, are in a very, very good spot and there's very minimal changes to each of these classes. There is going to be some changes on here, but as you can see, it's not a whole lot. So we're going to go through and just kind of look at things and talk about some stuff. So unique items, Mad Wolf Glee. They changed this for the poison affix. It's been replaced with bonus max life. Huge change excuse me love this change the bonus damage affix was actually only good for the teleporting poison um one with the affix which really you're not doing all the damage from you know necessarily the other stuff it was stacking all the bonus and then abusing the affix to be able to do that insane amount of damage so i really think the change here for max life is just huge they're really pushing a lot of insane life um in a lot of these classes which i think is good because we're yet to see how it's going to affect with the resistance system, but I think this is going to be very good. Insanable Fury overpower damage has been increased. Total armor and wear bear form increased. Holy crap. Man, wear bears are going to be insane this season. Storm's Companion, ranks to werewolves increased. Companion skill damage replaced with max life. Love that. Potion drop rate. These I never really cared about. You, you could sustain life so easy in Diablo 4. This shouldn't even be an affix. Replace with damage reduction. Absolutely love this. Love Storm's Companion. These are pants if you guys don't know. Um, this is going to be really, really cool. Especially if you can get these early in World Tier 3. Flesh Render. Damage while shapeshift increased. Damage while healthy has been replaced with core skill damage. This is very good because core skill damage was hugely buffed. The damage dealt to poison enemies from debilitating roar and blood howl is now increased by 10%. Multiplicative for each 100 willpower you have. This is pretty good. You're probably going to have like times 50 on average, maybe times 40 on average increased damage to poison enemies. This is very, very strong. And then Hunter Zenith, nobody really used this. We tried it. We tried a couple builds with Hunter Zenith. It's good early, but it just didn't work in the back end. Um, damage while shapeshift increased by 60%. That's huge. Bonus ranks to, to the quick shift passive increased by 200. And then critical strike damage with wolf skills affix replaced with critical strike chance. Um, I kind of like this one. I'm not really sure. I know that the small nerf to the crit strike damage because it's only 1.5 times now. But I like that this doesn't specifically state wolf skills. This allows us to use Hunter Zenith on like wear bear or in even in human form so we don't actually lose a straight affix but uh with flat critical strike chance i kind of like that that actually makes it really good and then overpower with bear skills replaced with bonus ranks to heighten sensitive so they're making like an overall change here to be able to use this universally with any build that you got i like that this may open up and, and allow us to do some more things here so skills uh, Earth Spike, very, very strong. Change to max life, the fortify amount, along with enhanced maul. This is going to make your Earth based um, Wear Bear builds, which is probably arguably still one of the best leveling builds in the game for Druid um, using Pulverize. Uh, now that you're going to have even more max life to get that fortify, it's going to be an insane build going on. I still really like Tornado, and like Rabies got a big change right here, as you guys can see. But with these changes to fortify overpower damage specifically i don't know if there's going to be a better leveling build than pulverize for the druid um ravens got changed we don't really care about ravens too much i do like these changes but the damage really is important the big change here with ravens is probably going to be the bonus critical strike chance increased to eight percent because there is some very good crit strike builds that you can make and, and you utilize the ravens but besides that i don't think they're going to be used too much rabies i love this huge change so you get an increased damage and you spread 50 percent faster 
So you just spread. It's a flat spread and the bonus is reduced. So you just spread things much, much faster. I think this is going to be very, very good as an option to level with, especially if you end up getting the normal legendary power that turns your wolves into werewolves that and then makes them also apply rabies and spread poison i think that will just be an awesome build if you can get it early so that'll be really strong um earthen bulwark the fortify change to max life same thing with enhanced debilitating roar wolf pack all max life i love all those changes i think that's awesome the knockback distance has been reduced from trample that's kind of okay natural trample the fortifies change to max life same thing with grizzly rage i love the max life changes i think that is just great because with the resistance system being in here and we don't really know how well that's going to be the max life changes are awesome and again we we're going to talk about this probably in every video but they make all these base life changes to max life on every single class so passives ancestral fortitude increased all resists which is awesome charge atmosphere uh the lightning bolts big boost to the lightning bolts electric shock lucky hit um immobilize has been increased and then the increased damage to immobilize enemies has been increased huge again safeguard thick hide natural resolve and natural fortitude all changed to max life from base life nature's fury casting earth skills has 30 percent chance to trigger a free storm of the same category and vice versa these free skills count as both earth and storm skills this is awesome it used to be different where you had to cast one or the other but now you shouldn't have to put as many on here so now having this to be able to recast like what is it trample like doing um what is it uh like trample slide like being able to trigger that over and over again with your bulwark it's going to be insane oh my god super strong urzine strength while healthy you deal 25 percent multiplicative now increased damage and 25 percent multiplicative overpower urzine strength might be the best passive that the druid has like best key passive it, it might be i've used urzine strength on my werewolf uh like tornado wolf even lightning you know lightning shred because just before it was a flat damage increase and then if you were in earth skills like you did even more but now you're just getting this flat damage and overpower damage oh my god our zing strength is gonna be huge uh lupin lupine lupin lupine ferocity the guaranteed critical strike bonus is increased to 140 percent multiplicative against injured enemies this is very good the way that lupine ferocity uh worked in the past was it was very sketchy because you were using other skills so sometimes every six um werewolf skill that you used you got the crit so sometimes you would end up getting it on your regular basic skill um, and you didn't want that. You wanted it to be used on a core skill or like some crazy mastery skill or something that you were doing. Um, so it really made it weird on the sixth count, especially when you were running Hurricane and stuff like that. It made it really fidgety. So I don't think this was really good for like Lightning Shred or the Poison Lightning Shred build. Um, but now that this is just guaranteed critical strike bonus against enemies is very, very strong. So this might get used more, but I think by default, Urzine Strength is just going to be the powerhouse here. Aspects, we know the crit chance has been capped. I think this is very good. Um, your 200% guys is still going to be insane amount of crit damage. You're just going to be crushing everything. Tornado still might end up being the strongest build for the Druid. Um, however, we're going to have to test how good Overpower is, but I still think it's going to be insane. And then Paragon, they changed um, the Earth and Devastation to now new earth or earth skills deal increased crit strike damage increased um 25 of your bonus damage to crowd control up to 40. so this is going to be very very good for your pulverized earth build your wear bear because you're going to be doing insane crit damage to crowd control everything's crowd controlled in that build so this is going to be a huge paragon board node and then thunderstruck storm skills do increase damage to vulnerable or immobilized and now it is increased don't damage equal to 50 percent times the total amount of damage to close uh and distant bonuses so i think this is going to be good for um lightning storm builds i think that's going to be great but i think earth and devastation takes the prize here so good changes overall you can see there's not a whole lot of crazy stuff happening with the druid because it's in such a good spot 
and i still think that the druid has some of the biggest build variety in the game there's so many different builds that you can do but i will say based on all these changes i think again overpower is being pushed so hard with the max life it's going to be hard to not kind of put into a star that pulverize is going to be absolutely insane now i still think that tornado werewolf builds are going to be crazy because of the changes to some of these and even with this change to aspect of the rampaging werebeast still going to be nuts so i think there's some very very good changes here um to the druid lightning storm builds got a big buff earth skills got a big buff werewolf skills with uh tornado are still going to be strong not a whole lot of changes there but still going to be super super strong and i'm really really curious again i really would like to really take play test rabies with the um werewolves increased affix i think that's just going to be a very strong build for leveling um it may not be super good in the end game but i think it'll be a very strong build for leveling so uh, that's what I have for Druid, guys. It's kind of my thoughts on Druid. I think Druid is just in a really good spot. It's still going to be one of the best classes in the game. Um, comparable to Rogue or even Necromancer. Barbarian's getting a big buff, but I still think Druid's in such a good spot. This is great. So let me know what you guys think. Like the video. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts, guys. Get the conversation going for all our Druid mains out here. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.